And when I did that, I noticed that it barely took any time at all to train and it went straight into Windows, no issues. This was already a pretty good sign because memory training on Z790 would take a much longer time. And I ran a memory test and it was stable. So right off the bat, we were off to a good start, being able to run 8200C38 in gear two right out of the box. And that was already a big improvement over what I could manage on the Z790 Carbon. Also, I should add, even though I didn't delve into any sort of extensive manual RAM timing tweaks, I was using MSI's performance memory extension mode, which further optimizes timings beyond XMP. Then I tried 8400C38, and that was also stable after a 24-hour test. Then I decided to bump it up to 8600, however, it wasn't stable at CL38, so I loosened the primary timings a bit and was able to stabilize it. So, I was quite impressed that on a 4-DIM board, using just regular UDIM memory, we could attain 8600CL40.